Hi everyone, my name is Clara and I'm a speech pathologist and I work for the Communication and Inclusion Resource Centre, which is a part of SCOPE. Today I'll be talking to you about pod communication books. So a pod communication book is a comprehensive communication aid, which basically means that you are able to say whatever you like, whenever you like, to whomever you like. So it really allows you for a very creative uh, communication to whoever you'd like to speak to. POD stands for Pragmatic Organisational Dynamic Display and this basically means that it is a communication system where um, it is organised into categories uh, where it's based on topics. So topics such as I want to do an activity, I want to go somewhere, something's wrong. So the communication is linked into activities. There are a wide variety of different pods that we have available. Um, this pod here is called a 20 cell expanded functions. So 20 cells basically refers to the number of uh, boxes on a page. And this pod is designed where the user can use their finger to point to the different cells to indicate what they'd like to say. So you can see here pods have got a lot of tabs on the bottom and these are for the pages and the category that are available. So for example, if I wanted to make a message, I could say, I have more to say. And you can see here that there's a number two in the top corner. That means that we'd go to page two. So we'll link to page two here. And you can say, I have more to say, let's go. So let's go to page 12, which is indicated in this cell. And here I can say my message, I want to go to the park. So that's how you'd be able to say a simple message with the 20 cell pod. So who is a pod designed for? So pods are designed for both adults and children and uh, they cater for a range of different language abilities and levels. Um, pods can be used for the user to be able to say a message to express themselves, but it can also be used by people to um, teach children or teach people um, how to use the pod, so to use it receptively uh, and to increase their understanding. So for example, um, a child, a young child might be using this pod receptively, so someone might be able to point to all the pictures to tell the message to actually teach that child how to communicate using one of these. So there are a wide variety of different pods, as I mentioned before. Uh, this is the 20 cell pod, one page opening. Another example of a pod would be the 12 cell communication book. And as you can see, there are 12 cells per page. So you can see the difference between the two layouts. The 20 cell is a bit more complex, whereas the 12 cell is designed for um, someone with perhaps an earlier language uh, level. So as mentioned before, we have one page opening pod books, and that basically means that each page is single sided. However, we also have more complex uh, pod books, which are two side openings, and this is an example. This is the 70 cell, and as you can see here, it's meant to be opened up flat where you can access both uh, sides of the page at the one time. So even though this book is smaller, this book has more complex language, so it is designed for someone with a bit more uh, language ability and the ability to perhaps make sentences and phrases. So another type of pod that we have available are the two page openings with a side panel. So this is a side panel and the side panel allows the user to be able to access all the different categories a lot easier and faster without having to flip through so many pages, which makes their communication um, message a lot faster to be able to generate. So I'll give you a little example of how you can use a side flap to be able to um, make a sentence. So we could start with saying I am, and we can go to feelings, page five. I am feeling, hmm, it's actually under something's wrong. So I'll go to page three. And I can say, I am feeling tired. So with this book, there are a few different ways you can get to the same message. So there's not just one pathway that takes you through a message. You can go through it um, with a number of different ways. Another example of a two page opening with a side panel is the 90 cell communication book. And the 90 cell pod has a lot of language. And I'll just give you an example of some of the differences perhaps between the 70 cell and the 90 cell. Um, you can see here that there's a lot of words in cells without images. So this means that the person who's using this is more likely to be literate and not needing the pictures to um, be able to express themselves. 
Um, and another really great feature about the 90 cell, for example, is that the action words, they're all in alphabetized order. So let's have a look here. So all the A actions are written down. So if someone's got good literacy, this is a really good way to be able to um, communicate really efficiently. So, so far we've gone through the pods that are mainly accessed through direct access, which might mean through pointing or indicating with your hand. There are other types of pods that can be used for people who don't have the ability to be able to point with their finger. Um, we've got things such as eyes gaze, eye gaze pods, we've got auditory scanning pods, and the one here I have is a partner-assisted visual scanning. So I'll just show you um, how it looks like and how it compares to a direct access pod. So you can see here, compared to the other 20 cells, the vocabulary is the same, but the layout is a bit different. So the layout in the partner assisted visual scanning is put into columns. And how it is designed to be used is that the communication partner will point to the column and ask the user, is what you want to say in this one, this one, this one. And the person will either nod or perhaps vocalise or say yes, and then once the, co the correct column has been identified, you go down the column until you get to the cell that the person wants to say. So that's just one way uh, someone can use a pod without having to directly access it. The partner-assisted visual scanning pods come in a few different cell configurations. And this is the 12 cell. And as you can see, like the 20 cell partner-assisted visual scanning, the words are put into columns. And it is up to the communication partner to point so the user can indicate which one is the correct cell. So you can see here that the four columns exist with the main vocabulary, but we've also got this side panel here. And this side panel is designed for more operational use. So the first um, cell says, oops, there's a mistake. And that's a really important one to say if the person accidentally has chosen the wrong one and they realize halfway through perhaps, and they can say, no, that's not right. The other button says another word on this page. That's all I have to say about that. So that cell tells the person that they've finished what they're saying. And please read the instructions on my front cover. So this might be for somebody who uh, does not have a lot of experience using the partner assisted visual scanning. Um, it, it will tell the communication partner, just look at the front to be able to um, know how to facilitate this correctly. So something really important to realize with pods is that although there is a lot of vocabulary that is already set, Pods are really highly recommended to be customised for the user. So, for example, um, let's go more to say, turn the page, um, we'll go to categories. Let's go to the food and drink page, page 18. You can see here on page 18, there are lots of words related to eating and drinking or mealtimes. However, you can also see on the next page that there is a blank page available. Now this blank page is available for the user to be able to put all their favourite foods and drinks or things that they commonly eat um, in here so it's relevant to them. We also have lists pages on some of the pages which allows you to put in extra words that do not, do not fit in the cells on the page. So these pages are really important um, and as much as possible we really recommend that you customise these for your user and take some time to figure out what kind of words they would need. Now if you think a pod a communication book might be something that would work for the person you're supporting or for yourself, um, there are a couple of options uh, you can take to be able to see whether this is for you. The first one would be uh, we actually do have a pod loan library available at Scope and which allows you to basically borrow a pod book for four weeks. Um, and during that time, you can really have a look, careful look, have a practice using it, and think about some of the customizations that you might need. The other option that we have is you can actually apply for a pod communication book. And this uh, can be funded through your NDIS plan if you have one, or it could be privately funded as well. And we can actually help you here at Scope if you are unsure on how to customise um, your pod book or decide which one the right one is for you. We do have pod uh, communication book packages, which basically allows you to um, have a consultation with one of our staff here. Um, you can come in and you can have a look at all the different books. We can talk about um, which book might be the best fit for your client or for yourself. And you can actually loan the book. And then once you have decided which book is the right one, we can help you with the customization process. 
as podbooks are a comprehensive communication system, we really recommend that you have a speech pathologist involved um, with the decision making and the customization and the provision of pods. Um, a pod book is something that requires quite a lot of training and understanding to be able to use effectively. So that's just something to be really considerate of when you're thinking this might be something for you.